What's up, Pixel Coin Gaming here, and I'm here with another episode of Drew's 2. So, um, this is episode 3, and today we're going to be, uh, doing some more stuff on this island. And I'm sorry about skip. This is just talking about Scallywinkles, and, uh, we're gonna find some Scallywinkles for our next quest. So, the reason that that cut line was there was because I accidentally, uh, started recording without audio, so I had to restart it, and... I did not want to load in my save game, so yeah. Eat some slimes and look for some uh, of these things. No, no, I want the other thing. Come on. Wait a second. Do I not have hammers yet? Oh, I don't have the hammer yet. Uh, my bad. There we go. What's that funny look? What's that funny looking thing you got there? It wouldn't be one of those scallywinkles that girl was jabbering on about by any chance. Oh. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks till the break of dawn. And that's something I'd rather avoid. So, uh, let's avoid doing that then. Let's go cook them. Let's, uh, come over here. See where all this is. Grab some of this grass. Have a look at that grass. Let's see what's over here. What is over here? Huh. Nothing over here. What's this weird thing? Examine. Pixel examines the strange stone carving, but nothing happens. Okay, cool. Ooh, some more Scotty Winkles. Grab them scallywinkles. Oh, there's another one. And some more kelp. Mmm, that's delicious kelp. See, more kelp, more kelp. Grab some more kelp. Keep this line with my circle. Cypress, cypress. Is it cypress or cypress? I have no clue. Oh, I wouldn't have more health than that one, look like. Yeah, I think I have enough scowly winkles, right? Yeah? I'm gonna go over to bonfire now. Lost kelp, cook too. Hello, dead bodies, how are you? Goodbye, dead bodies. Let's, uh, cook some scowly winkles. Bonfire. Nice. Okay, come over here. Place it in here, so we can kick inside. What that what's that you made? It's a hot as heck. And it spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. But are you sure you know what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? Cool. Instructions on how to cook things. Start some scallywinkles. Careful, Pixel! The scallywinkle just fell into the fire. Ah, that must be how you cook it. So you builders can make food too, eh? Still, it will be a little while till that scallywinkle is completely cooked. Let's go and look for some uh, more materials. Cool. Go look for those materials. I think I have materials for a bed. Let's all this stuff. Ooh, I'm kind of hungry. Eat some of that kelp. Okay. We good. We good now. Ah, uh, we can't make a bed yet. Collect that scallywinkle. <laughs> that aroma. Is that a smell of a succulently? Succulently see it, Scallywinkle? I must have it. No. Just kidding. I'll give it to her. You've handed Lula a Scallywinkle. Um, nom, 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 nom. Ah, the scent of seaside combines perfectly with the grave, gravelly crunch of the sand grains. Simply irresistible. But you don't have to limit your culinary, culinary repertoire to Scallywinkles, you know. If you see anything else that looks vague, vaguely edible, try cooking it on the bonfire. And find 
a cooked meal much more filling than a raw fare, and it makes me feel healthier too. Whose food is this again? My food. I'm the one finding it. Oh, how rude of me. I just realized I never asked your name. I make you your house. I make you food. And now you're asking my name? Pixel of Malroth, you say? I know you're a builder, Pixel, but what do you do, Malroth? Uh, well, I'm actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My, mem my memory is completely blank. <laughs> well, well, an apprentice builder and his uh, amnesia friend. What an unexpected partner. And a lame girl who can't do anything but tell us what to do. Oh, <clears throat> I mean, oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like him, you must be dreaming. Oh, speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and that seared scallywick has finally filled me up nicely. So, Pixel, how's progress with that straw bed? Bedding, I asked you to make. I don't know. How is it? What are you doing in here? Eating my scallywick to doing nothing? I asked you to make. I'm really rather ready to hit the hay. To look at disappointment in that pun. Eureka! Pixel learned a new recipe. So I made bedding, or I've made it, but I learned how to make bedding out of nowhere. Here we go. He's got his book out again. What have you invented this time? A straw bed. Is that so? You reckon you can make a straw bedding out of dry grass? Well, I think I saw something dry and grassy along the shore to the west. Could that be what you're looking for? Oh, I already got some. Ha ha ha. One step ahead of you. There we go. Three buds. Mm -hmm, let's see. Let's place these over here in the corner. One. Two. Three. Oh, I misplaced that. This is wonderful, Pixel. You made a bed for me and a couple for yourselves, too. Taking a nap during the day will help to recharge your energies. Energies. <laughs> <laughs> and after the sun goes down, we'll be able to, to while away the dark and dangerous night in dreamland. <sighs> I wonder what mom and papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder, and on a desert island, no less. Probably think you're, uh, never mind. When the children of Hagron attacked my hometown, a ripple port, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those medical monsters murdered them in cold blood. So I stowed away on that cursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths. But I was caught before I had the chance to do anything. We all know what happened next. You ended up stuck with me. Ah, oh, Papa. Mama. She looks kind of happy for that. I may be marooned. I'm marooned on a desert island with these two lumbering Lumax, Lumoxes. But I shall survive. I pray that you watch over me in these trying times. Anyway, thank you bo both ever so much for sorting our sleeping arrangements. It's been a long, hard day. I suggest we all get well-earned rest. Build some beds. Nice. We built some beds. Now let's uh, sleep. Let's finish off tasks Lulu gave us before... Oh, I already did, though. Let me talk to her. <laughs> let's see now. You paired the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, made me supper. I do believe that's uh, everything. I must say, it's a real relief to have a builder around, and judging by the quality of your work, one would never imagine you were still only learning the ropes. <laughs> I haven't learned rope yet. How do I make rope? I know we're stranded here, but in a weird way. I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more work to do so that I don't want more work from you. <laughs> You're just a freaking slave driver. And it's for you, Maroth. This could be the perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture. No, maybe it's the perfect opportunity for you to quit talking to me. Now then, Pixel, I want you to go out first light in the morning and forge 30 scally with the 50 stripes of kelp. No, I will not do that for you. Lula's demands. Complete. Now can I sleep? Okay, what do, you, what do you want? I thought Lula might calm down. 
<coughs> Let me do this. I thought Lulu, I might, uh, I thought Lulu might calm down a bit once, no, that's not right. I thought Lulu might calm down a bit once she got what she wanted, but she's just as big as a pain in the neck as she was before. Still, I'm impressed. Despite all her nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. I wish I could do what you do. Me too. <sighs> hey, Pixel. Can I have to go on that workbench? Or can I have a go on that workbench? Can I have a go on that workbench? I want to try making something myself. Uh, I'm losing my voice for some reason. Okay. Go ahead. Work my workbench. I know you want to. I've been watching you make stuff all day. And I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this, Pixel. I'm going to be a builder just like you. Now then. What, was, what do you do first? You... Hit stuff around. <laughs> Yay. Huh? No, that's not right. <laughs> oh, now he's got two hammers. Where is he getting these hammers from? Dang it! Why isn't this working? <laughs> Let me throw them a quick fit right quick. Alright, you asked for it. <laughs> You made trash. What did I do wrong? It doesn't make sense. God, why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Ah, forget it. I thought making stuff would be all fun and games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Pixel. I'll be rely relying on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as you made all that stuff for Lula, Lulu, I think it's Lulu, I think it's about time you uh, even things out and made something for me. Let me think of something. Eureka! Pixel learns a new recipe. An oaken club. A stout and sturdy wooden... Kuno can only be used in Malarok. Attack 12. I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired. I've been, uh... Working all day. And I would like to apologize. Oh, is that for me? Oh, sorry. Is that for me? What would I want to do with this silly old stick? It's not just any it's a oaken club. I can use it to whack stuff? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha that sounds right up my alley. All right, I'll take it, give it here. No, please, or thank you? I see how it is. Pixel gives it an oaken club to Malroth. Hey, this really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Only one way to find out. Stand back while I give it a couple swing tests. I didn't. Oh, the you just went right through my body. Yeah. Yay! Ha <laughs> ah, I like it. No, I love it. Squishy slimes will have, will be so much more satisfying now. He's a ja mask genocide murderer. And to think you made it using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Pixel. This club is the best, or the best present everyone, anyone's ever gotten me. I think. He has amnesia. He can't remember. Huh? Pixel? Can you feel that? Some kind of evil oral must be coming from the from a monster. But whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than the scrawny little slimes we saw before. <laughs> this, could be, this could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping the, with the best of them in no time. The monster's somewhere down the coast to the west. Come on! I want to break in my new club and break the suckers. It's cool, okay, let's go break some suckers. And off we go. To the west. So I would like to apologize for not putting out a video soon. It's been uh, four days, so I am sorry about that. I have been uh, taking a break, birthday and uh, work and just making a lot of videos wears you out so I took a quick break for a while and I'm back um a heads up I will be gone 17th of August or not, the 11th the, oh let's go fight these the 11th through the 18th or no the 10th through the 18th so I will not have any videos in that time but I will uh, make some more later or hopefully have some stuff or I might have some vlogs and stuff so let's beat this fat rat oh I jumped right into his attack you could do that Oh, we have destroyed the fat rat. High five! Whoa! 
What was that? When you struck your hand out just then, I got this irresistible urge to slap it. It's called a high five? It's something friends do to celebrate a job well done? Huh, I never thought of myself as a touchy-feely type, but maybe I can make an exception for this high five mal malarkey. Malarkey. Anyway, how did you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fitter already. Hmm. Pixel and Malroth. Uh, Pixels and Malroth level increased. Yay! Malroth gets stronger than Pixel reaches level 2. His maximum HP increases. Yes, let's hit our heads together. Felt good whacking that rat, right? It's like an ear. Irritating little itch that has been truly scratched. But don't forget you're a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to the construction, you can leave the monster smashing to me. I will do that then. Still, building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do, but I guess wanton destruction is much more of my bag. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. She's a really one, alright. You better make sure she, you sleep with your eyes open at night. Pixel, I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together? Just you and me. But let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out any second now. But Lewis already had demands for us. We have to make 30 scally, find 30 scally winkles and a bunch of kelp. Ooh, yes, more uh, kelp. And let's go back to our little cabin. I love our little cabin. It's so small and cute. Da, 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 da. Hitting the grass and other stuff. Running with Maldroth. Uh oh yeah. And we're splashing in the water. Getting the camera button going to this question mark because we have to. It's actually exclamation mark. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, thank you guys for uh, all your support so far because I was not expecting this series to have as many likes as it does. So thank you guys. And good night. This game video isn't over yet. Oh. Oh. That's what they sound like. Uh. <sighs> that was a genuine yawn, by the way. Good morning. Good morning, you two. Or, good morning, you two. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. <laughs> officially begins today. Oh, I read that. Your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast from the bee. Yeek! No! What is Lula, a monster? It's my Scallywinkle! It's disappeared! What? Alright, oh, Malroth! Own up! I know it was you! I purposely only ate half of that seared Scallywinkle last night so I could have the rest of it for breakfast! Give it back to you this instant! What are you talking about? I haven't touched your manky half munch mollusk! Huh? Ta uh, what's going on this time? Hey, you two! You're going to. I didn't read it. I pushed it too quick. Ah! There's a culprit! That monster must be the thing that snaffled my Scallywinkle! Ho ho ho! Oh! He just smashed that wall. I'm sorry, I'm taking pictures. I need good thumbnails. Look at that smashy wall. Nice. Whoa, it just took down the whole cliff. And now are those steps? Oh, 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 this way, young whip, whip, whippersnappers. So it looks like we have to follow this old guy. This old spirit guy. That floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? Hmm. My second thoughts. Maybe it'd be better to tell some us uh, something about this island. Or maybe it'd be able to tell us something about the island. Pixel Lula, let's go after that monster. I've got some questions that need to be answered. Okay. So we are going to go after that monster. 
So let's get just kidding. We're ending the episode here. I am very sorry. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more uh, content of this sort, let me know. I will keep this playthrough going for a while. There is a possibility of me ending it and just playing through the game without. Now I will go through it all, but I might go on my own other account and make some more videos on that. So. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and uh, comment for any suggestions on what you want me to make. And I will try making it. And uh, remember to like, support the channel, and subscribe for more content. So thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later. Bye.